Hello everybody out there, here's Christian Gudiman, uh, CTO at WebK Consulting and Chairman of OpenNTF. In today's tutorial I will show you how you can uh, share a database that you are developing with others on GitHub. So what we will do is we will make a new own GitHub repository a public repository, we will make a new database, we will export this database as on disk representation and then add this on disk representation to our GitHub repository. I have already installed the GitHub client, the Git shell and also the Git plugin from OpenNTF. So let's start with creating a new repository. For this I go directly to the GitHub page. Say create new repository. I call this one Ninja Ninja style database. It's a public one. I also want to initialize a README and I set here a license, the Apache license type to it that everyone else can reuse my code and it's under a proper license. Say so now create repository and here we are. My repository is created. I can now clone this repository directly here and my GitHub client will be invoked. So that was very easy. Now let's start the designer. create a new application for my server So, I've created a blank application, I can now work on that, but as a first step, I will make a, a non-disk representation with that up source control for this application. Give the project a, a name. And I use the default location um, that I wouldn't recommend if you are using this not with um, source control management when you are using this with something other than Git it's better to uh, use a known location for each um, application you share. Now I have my Ninja message board application here on disk representation. Now it's time to share this project. 
have here git and svn I choose git and I see that my new repository is not already here it could happen it's very easy to refresh this go to the git repository exploring first I say refresh and the next step is add a repository you see here this ninja style database has to add to be added go back to the designer share project and now it will also change the location that was under my workspace to my git repository can say finish. What I can do is can make a first commit select all my stuff here and I can also push this to the upstream so my recommendation is that you do as a next step make your own branch a development branch where you can develop and that you only have to push to the master branch or make otherwise a release branch things that are finished and tested and and ready for production so let's do this for this I change mostly to the git shell go to ninja style database to this repository and you see I'm on the um, master branch so I can say branch sorry say git check development and now I'm on the development branch and I should also first push this and as always I have to make an, an association uh, with, with the upstream so And now I will develop this database here, this Ninja message board on the development branch and anytime I have something finished I will bring this to the master branch. So what have we done? We have made a new repository we have cloned this repository to our local repositories we have created a new database we have made an on disk representation of that database we have assigned the this database to this git repository then we have pushed all the initial stuff directly to the master branch we have made a new branch called development and now we are ready to develop the ninja message board and this ninja message board will cover the next uh, few tutorials thanks for your attention